Hello, I'm Dean Martin with Transmission Digest. Welcome to the Transtar Industry Studios here at Babcock's Media. Ever since the horse's carriage hit the streets, uh, the transmission of choice by the OEMs has been a step-type transmission, either manual shift or automatic. A step-type transmission is one that shifts first, second, third, and so on. And of course today, um, we're all the way up to 10 speeds, so it shifts 8th, 9th, and even 10th. Uh, we're actually in competition with Schwinn Bicycle now. Uh, because of circumstances over the years, other transmission platforms have been developed, such as the CVT, which is the Continuously Variable Transmission, uh, the EVT, which is the Electric Variable Transmission, which is used by Toyota Prius, Ford Escape, and others, uh, the two-mode uh, electric, which goes into a Chevy Tahoe, and the subject of this video, which is the DCT, and that stands for Dual Clutch Transmission. Uh, as the name applies, uh, there are basically two of everything when it comes to the input and output. It's almost like if you can envision taking two separate transmissions and putting them together uh, to give you alternate shifting, first, third, and fifth, or second, fourth, and sixth. Uh, in conjunction with that, there are a couple of different types of DCTs, what we call a wet DCT or a dry DCT. And that has to do with the application components. Uh, the basic architecture of a DCT is pretty much like a manual transmission. Anybody that would go into it uh, shouldn't have any surprises. Uh, during this presentation, uh, you're going to see a couple of slides, which are an exploded view of an O2E, which is a Volkswagen DCT, and it'll show the exploded view with and without the automatic components that make it more than just a manual transmission. We will be covering in um, part two uh, a lot of the different physical component differences so that you can get a sense of what is different between a wet or dry DCT. There are a lot of DCTs on the road now uh, even though they started in Europe almost 20 years ago, uh, they are now in this country and they will be increasing in numbers along with other transmission platforms. Stay tuned for part two. I'm Mike Riley. Thanks for watching and see you next time.